Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I went to the Ubiquitous Hair Show and that was actually the first hair show that I ever went to. And now to the part that some of us may have been waiting for, the haul. So let me show you what I got. So I started off slow and kind of went crazy and then slowed down again. So it was interesting because I guess when you when you saw the vlog, you kind of saw, okay, hey, I'm not seeing anything to buy. Oh, okay, I'll get this one thing. Oh snap, Camille Rose, $10 for everything. And then kind of like, mm, okay, I'll, I'll try this and so on. So I did impulse buy a couple things. I may have somewhat regretted one or two things, we'll see. But overall, it was a good shopping experience. And now I'm back to trying to get my stash down. So the first hair product I got was the hair gel that I kind of randomly got. So I think they have a lot of those like black hair products, like Petrolatum full hair products. But I just happened to see these with some cleanish labels. And I took a look at them and it turned out to not be so bad at all. So I definitely was like, ooh, okay. So these are the ingredients. And then I got like three of these for ten dollars. So I was like, oh okay, because it's like six ounces, so that's like eighteen ounces for ten dollars. So it's interesting, and you can almost see the kind of Camille Rose -ish thing. Like it does have pectin, but it also has xanthan gum. So I'm looking forward to trying this. You can see it's very thick, so it's gonna be an interesting try. It has a fresh, slightly chemically scent, but it's kind of a fresh light scent. And it does kind of say it'll work for a wash and go because it says apply um, section by section to wet hair and scrunch wash and go. I'm definitely going to be trying this soon and it's definitely going to be interesting because it's really thick and kind of solid so we'll see how that goes. The second thing I got was this lip bar so it's like a vegan lip color. I am kind of on the lookout for natural body stuff and like makeup and stuff so when I saw this I was like oh okay. So I did try it on and I didn't really feel like it really did the perfect job in terms of like going on evenly and distributing evenly and moisturizing but I had all other stuff and I had taken it off with cleansing cloth so I wanted to give it a try on its own and it wasn't that bad I like the color and I really still wanted to try it when I got home kind of on a fresh face so I'm looking forward to trying this I guess I'll let you guys know if you if you're interested in it let me know if you want to see me put it on because I'm not a makeup person but if you just want to see me put this lipstick on I could probably manage that so this is the cartoon <laughs> I don't even know what people call these things I'm not a makeup person these are the ingredients so as you can see it's pretty natural it's more natural than a lot of things so not bad at all I wouldn't mind trying this out it works pretty well for how natural it is I just got, got one it was like $12 which is still kind of steep but I wanted to try it out so yeah it had in regular kind of colors, you know, like brownish, pinkish, reddish. Then I went to Camuros and kind of, ooh, that's my entry. It was like $10 for everything, so I was like, woo! So this is mostly kind of restocks. The only thing I got that I've never tried is the spritz. I restocked on these butters. I love both of these butters. I got these like $10 for everything, like I said. And I got me two curl makers. So this is like 12 ounces, so $10 each. You all know and love the curl maker, at least I do. And I got a couple of Camille Rose samples. So I think she threw in some extra because I was an Ashkin and she was an Ashkin fan. So she gave us these two after she recognized Ashkin and this was in the bag. So this is the coconut water leave-in. I didn't really, the coconut water line wasn't really for me. So I don't know if I'll use that or how I'll use that or if I'll give it away. But I got the also the sweet ginger cleansing rinse sample, which it also wasn't really for me. And this aloe whip butter gel, which I love. So I was hoping that the caramel co-wash would be there, but it wasn't. So since this is like my Black Friday, I'm not gonna buy Camille Rose this Black Friday, at least not from Camille Rose. So I might end up doing like a Hitachi and pick up a couple caramel co-washes, or I might just skip it for this year because I crickets or something because <laughs> I do have a couple co-washes caramel co-washes kind of left in my stash so I might try to skip it for this year or pick up some from Hitachi or Kilmat just kind of based on how Black Friday goes so right now for sure Black Friday I'm getting she scented everything else is kind of up in the air I want to get the Sultanicals frizz wears but that's pretty much all I need from Sultanicals right now because I have tons of stuff 
I want to get the Baskin Bloom deep conditioner, but I'm not sure. You know, just based on the shipping and everything, I'll decide for that. She said it is the only one where I want enough for sure to have free shipping. But that's Black Friday. The pages may plan year round for Black Friday. That's like our yearly holiday. After I got the Camille Rose haul and everybody started looking at me like I was crazy when I was there because I was like, okay, I'm taking one of this, one of this, one of this, and two of that. Everybody was like, oh. I kind of like, okay, let me maybe slow down with the buying. So this was also kind of random. I just happened to be standing there and my, my roots take a really long time to dry and they were saying it's really good for drying your roots because it has these little the heat vents are like right here in the comb so you can kind of heat up to your roots. The only other one I know kind of like that is a diva but the diva curl one is kind of big and might just frizz out your hair. So this one is kind of too small in terms of the teeth. I would have liked something a little in between but I can give us a try and see if it helps to dry my roots. So I'm really lazy to blow dry on the whole so don't ask me if having an attachment is going to help because I just hate the whole actual blow drying part so but we'll see. This and the lipstick was kind of random and I would say there's about 15 to 20% buyer's remorse and maybe 25 to 30% hope on both of these like so you know I kind of like uh, and I kind of like yeah and then the rest is kind of. So overall it wasn't too bad because that's the almost the last thing I got. But the very last thing I got was Eden Body Works so I wasn't necessarily gonna get anything but what I like to do is kind of go to all the stores even where I know the lines and just see if there's any new lines out so they happen to have some new stuff so I decided to check it out. I got all three of these for $15 and it is a hand cream which I need, a body lotion which I need, and a body wash which is nice to try out especially if it starts being sold at Sally's or something and I can like get these on sale so the ingredients are pretty nice it has the cleansers but it has like honey and like oils and stuff so this will be interesting to try so I am glad I kind of picked this up it has aloe vera juice, shea butter, mango fruit extract, almond oil, sunflower oil, glycerin and honey so that sounds really good and the lotion and stuff is pretty similar in terms of ingredients. I mean the active ingredient, like the actual working ingredient is different because this one has the surfactants but the perk ingredients are pretty similar in terms of the honey and the aloe and stuff like that, the oils. And the same thing with this. So it's coconut shea and vitamin E. It smells like kind of like lotion, I guess this is a lotion. It smells kind of like a typical lotion. I do smell that coconut shea scent. And they all kind of smell similarly as I guess because they tend to go similarly in terms of their scents across the line. So I like that they are getting into body stuff. Maybe this could be my new body line, like my new kind of in-store body line could be eaten. I'm, I'd be happy with that. And I did get this for free, this elixir. I have a million of these already so it's kind of unfortunate that this is what I got for free. I haven't tried it yet. This was in my weird things, weird stash weird thing stash video so I'll probably link that so you guys can check it out but it's one of those things that I'm like okay I have it how do I really use it besides that I got these mild samples so I think it's just the avocado hair milk I don't think I tried this before so I'm looking forward to giving this a try because I do like mild in terms of the ingredients most of the time it's just the scent I don't really like so I'll give this a try and I'll probably let you guys know I have to do like a samples video or just a sample using video because I have a lot of samples that I hardly ever use them because you have to kind of be prepared and plan ahead to figure out what you're going to do I need to do a sample using and maybe a little sample haul sample stash video for you guys so you can see what samples I have the other sample I got was from this Sasha Pure and she gave us some and then we kind of swung around again and she was giving us more and then I was like but I already have some she was like just take them I don't want to go home with them so I ended up getting like six of these <laughs> so I have lots of these samples so it's like shampoo conditioner and some kind of hair elixir hair scalp and skin elixir so probably an oil I think the ingredients some of them look better than others so I'll probably have to go online because I don't see the ingredients on the sample probably have to go online and remind myself which ones have the all clear ingredients and which ones may have been not for me but yeah sample haul coming up soon so that was pretty much it thanks so much for watching subscribe for more content see you in the next one bye